you should be facing other people at your same skill level, yet there's a big gap here. A lot of people have been finding the recent players, a lot of people are at like a 1 KD or below, sometimes in the like the .5s, meanwhile he has a 5 KD. So there's definitely something fishy going on here. When you just type in change feeds on YouTube, you have chain feeds and the second search term is chain feeds reverse boosting. Ooh, yikes. So in this video, we're going to talk about change feeds. Right now, change feeds is getting a lot of heat, a lot of drama right now. Because a lot of people have been pointing out that he's reverse boosting. Pretty much he's joining session or using some kind of assist to exploit the score based matchmaking in order for him to gain these gameplays, this easier bot lobby. This channel has 432,000 subscribers. This channel is mainly uploading gameplay videos and really focusing on gameplays. I mean, gameplays used to be a thing back in 2013, like the Doom Clan, Jay Nasty, like Burn Man used to upload gameplay videos. Like nowadays, people don't really upload gameplay videos. There's only a select few. For example, Chain Feeds, Korean Savage, I can't even name anybody else because gameplays don't really matter anymore. Apparently, Chain Feeds has allegedly been caught reverse boosting for gameplays for his videos. But before we continue with this video, if you're new right here, subscribe hit that notification bell. This way you can receive my videos once uploaded. So notification squad day is going towards Gotcha Renegade, Sip King, Cringe King, and Sirius Gavin. So if you don't know the very first three people, comment down below, you get that instant shout out in my upcoming video. So if I was you, I'll hit that notification bell. Get that easy shout on my channel. So as I said before, Change Feats is getting a lot of heat right now because a lot of people are making these exposed videos saying that he's reverse boosting. The main thing about this, if you're reverse boosting for gameplays, a lot of people nowadays can search up on the internet and find the people that you're facing and look at the KDs and look at the score per minute and really tell and really tell if you're reverse boosting or not. It's really hard to actually 100% confirm. I mean, I did see pictures, I did see people's KDs and they're really bad. If you don't know, Black Ops Cold War has heavy heavy score based matchmaking. Let's say if you have a 1.5 KD, majority of your matches are be facing a people that's close to a 1.5 KD. But the thing about change feeds supposedly has like a 5 KD. As a result, he should be facing people with either the same or similar stats that he does. But the thing is, you have pro players that don't even have a 2KD in this game, but let alone this YouTuber has a 5KD. And like I said before, gameplays don't really matter anymore. There's only a select that actually do well with gameplays because gameplays really died down 5 or 6 years ago. But there's a select few that are still going on. They're still getting a lot of views and a lot of subscribers. But the thing is, Chainsfeed's channel is, is so heavily focused on gameplay, so he has to upload all these gameplay videos to gain views and also subscribers. He's so heavily focused on this, allegedly he's resorting to other exploits to gain ahead of the system. This way it's easier for him to gain all these lobbies, these easier bot lobbies for him. In my perspective, I don't really care if you're reverse boosting. I don't watch videos for the gameplay. I watch videos for the information, for the entertainment purposes, or the actual subject of the matter. Most of these big channels is uplaying nukes or 30 gun streaks every single day. There's something going on here, especially with the best players in the world. These pro players don't have a 2KD, let alone this YouTuber has a 5KD. That doesn't make any sense. If this person was really that good, he would be in the pro seat, he'd be one of the best players in the world. I'm not saying he's a bad person. I'm not saying he's a bad... Obviously, he does have some kind of skill level here. He's probably better than me. I don't really play Cold War besides the zombies. But something's definitely fishier when like the best players in the world... Can he have a 2KD, but yet this gameplay YouTube channel is constantly dropping nukes when the score-based matchmaking is so heavy? You should be facing other people at your same skill level, yet there's a big gap here. A lot of people have been finding the recent players. A lot of people are at like a 1KD or below, sometimes in the, like the .5s. Meanwhile, he has a 5KD. So there's definitely something fishy going on here. When you just type in chain feeds on YouTube, you have chain feeds, and the second search term is chain feeds reverse boosting. Ooh, yikes. There's a couple of Call of Duty channels that I do still follow. Blame Truth and also A Thoughts. Blame Truth, I didn't really get into Blame Truth until like a couple months ago because he's one of the old school Call of Duty channels like back in 2008 that's still killing it right now. 
But he made this video today, Chain Feeds has lost his damn mind. The most funny thing he says, it says, stop lying to the kids. So one of his points here is, he's reverse boosting, quote unquote, allegedly, into these lobbies facing Timmy No Thumbs. These people don't shoot back. His fan base thought these gameplays were actually legit. They was like dropping these nukes every single day. There's definitely something fishy going on here. All of a sudden, Timmy No Thumbs gets Cold War for Christmas, and guess who joins his lobby? Chain Feeds. And all of a sudden, he gets destroyed, starts crying, gets upset. Guess what? He's not going to be playing Cold War anymore because for some reason, you exploit the system by joining people's session for an account that had a 0.02 KD. I'm not going to show you that account, but you could probably search it up on people's Twitters, and you can see that for yourself. You're pretty much aligned to your fan base. How you're bragging that you have a 5k and you have this. Then you make this video saying, I don't reverse booze. But in the first minute or so, your supposed proof, you seem emotionally unstable. This is like really bothering you. If this was like 100% BS, you'd be just brushing this off saying, eh, like really, this is your exposed video? If people are making exposed videos about you and they don't really show any proof and it's all BS, you're not gonna be emotionally unstable. You'd be laughing at them. This is the video that you made about me? Like, this is not even 100% true. The thing about it, you shouldn't have to like show your proof that you're just randomly joining a lobby. You should be just making a video showcasing your face and only your face and saying i don't reverse boost i don't know what these people are doing to me this is not true and you can go from there you can go from the heart and saying this is not true these allegations whatever it's not true but you uploading this video is showing that you're mostly unstable and showing that your webcam is blocking your name for the majority of searching a lobby and all of a sudden you just a case that shows that you're then you're joining a random lobby that doesn't prove that you are reverse boosting yeah there are other variables you can't really control who's joining your lobby you can't can't really control who you're facing but there's people who have proof that you that you joined like a random reverse bot count with a 0.02 kd and the very next thing you have a gameplay i mean something's fishy here especially the last couple of videos have been doing very poorly with the likes and dislike ratio the one that you said i don't reverse boost has a 35 percent like to dislike ratio and the video just uploaded 56 minutes ago has a 45 percent dislike video people in the comments section saying it's a wrap for you everyone knows what you're doing look at your like and dislike ratio if i play kids like this i want to have a 79.16 kd this game was crazy not one player in the enemy team has reached prestige one suspiciously weird I'm not showing any proof that he's actually reverse boosting, but like what exactly what's going on here? And yes, likes and dislikes ratio doesn't really matter. It does help the video, but it shows some indication that something is going on. Like on my channel, you, you do see these random troll accounts that make like 10 accounts and just like dislike my videos and don't even actually watch the content because you have people that hate me. Well, do you have a channel of this size and you have a like and dislike ratio of that size? And you're getting that poor of like dislike ratio. There's something else going on here that you shouldn't be admitting. And like the thing is, if you just said straight up saying, yeah, I reverse boosted. Here's my gameplay and talk over. Like 90% of people are like, okay, whatever. Why do you just upload gameplays after gameplays and they're all suspicious and you're not admitting it? People are going to realize and wake up saying, this is all fake. So let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think about this? Do you think chain feeds is reverse boosting? Do you want me to go further into this and actually show some proof? Or is there something else going on that people are just realizing that something is going on? I mean, the evidence is right there. There's a lot of things that's happening. Chain feeds, I hope you admit this. Right now you're in denial. There's a lot of people that's waking up. There are a lot of people finding proof about you, about your recent players. You shouldn't be in lobbies with people less than 1 KD. And you shouldn't be in lobbies with people with a 0.5 KD. And you shouldn't be joining lobbies with a 0.02 KD to help you gain advantage of people. Even Birdman, the person I've been following for like 3 or 4 years, he uploaded 100 plus gameplay and guess what? He admitted on Twitter or admitted towards Blaine Truth saying, yeah, I joined Session. That's how I got the gameplay. If you just admit that you're reverse boosting, no one's going to really care. The point is that you're in denial right now. You're not admit this, especially on your channel you have so many nuke gameplays on a day and you're in lobbies of people with a KD that's less than the ones when you have a 5 KD. So if you're new around here, subscribe, hit that notification bell. This way you can receive my videos once uploaded. You can always follow me on Twitter, the Brett Burns, and also Instagram, Brett that Burns. And if you want to purchase a t-shirt, that link will be down below as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>
can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right yeah,